Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the Inkeeper, and today I'd like to welcome you back to Berry Field. Last session was an interesting one. We've done a good number of things, and we're also starting to build our soon-to-be moat, which I'm quite excited about. So what we should do is continue to do that. So we're just going to pretty much mine up this entire section right here and just go bit by bit. This goes all the way across, right? And this goes all the way to the end. This is the perfect square for us, by the way. It's some interesting looking quarry thing. I don't know if it really should be this giant block, but for some reason it just feels right making it that. I don't know why, it just, <laughs> it just, you know, it was a little plot of land and we're going to use it for our own mysteri mysterious, mischievous? For some reason I couldn't say mischievous there, it was too much for me. Just simply too much for anyone to ask. We need to make some more picket fences, some tall window frames, and some in signs. I don't know if I should really be making some more signs about myself. I feel like that's a bit too, um, bit too big-headed of me there. <laughs> so we are continuing to try and improve our blacksmith skills so that we can also... Well, not also, so that we can gain ourselves the ability to defend ourselves a little bit more steadily. At the moment, we can only make armor and items for footmen. However, eventually, I like to think we'll be able to get stuff for our knights. Yeah, knights. Now, they don't start off with any armor, so this is going to be a significant upgrade for them. Especially once we get them the steel shield as well, which is an extra six defense right there. In fact, is that even good? What's your current defense? Where are you? You're lingering around. Everyone's eating on the same pile. I'm pretty sure I've got somewhere for you all to eat. I don't? That's interesting. I thought I did. My frame rate is also really bad right now. It's all over the place. Where the hell's my computer at? It's a little bit warm. I mean, it's quite warm today, so that makes a bit of sense, but I don't recall the frame rate being this bad before. It's just very... If I move around a lot, and if I zoom out this far, it goes... Yeah, it... It will, it will always balance itself to 60, and then I'll start moving, and it will just go crazy. You can see it jolting around. That's really strange. I am playing on the alpha build of the game, 22. Alpha 22, so maybe the latest update is called some performance issues. I don't know. P -p -p performance issues. <laughs> so many fine everything. We have a fine variant of everything we can have. It's quite good, really. We should sell at least... I don't want to sell 10 of those. Just sell a few of them. I don't know if the game's going to be too loud or not. I think my voice should be loud enough for it. Also, I'm pretty sure we are making the better bows now. And we should have one for all three of our archers who are for some reason lingering all the way over here. Yeah, you're all here, but unfortunately... I can't really tell who has the worst bow. Is it you, Gabu? What is your equipment right now? No, you have the recurve bow as well. In fact, I'm pretty sure you all do. Yeah, you you all have the recurve bow. You also should be able to have some caps as well. I think the level worker should be able to make some of those. Yeah, here we go. Leather skull cap. That's going to be quite useful for us, but for some reason we have yet to make that for reasons I don't currently know why. Oh no, for some reason they're only for footmen. Huh, the archer doesn't seem to have any armor. The spiky quiver, though, would be quite nice, but we don't have any feathers yet, so we cannot make such a device. That's, uh, that's simply simply too much for us. Also, my internet connection is pretty bad right now, and unfortunately, my countdown timer has sort of stopped timing, so uh, I'm going to have to do this on the fly right here. I'm going to have to just... going to have to calculate, put everything together. <laughs> Eventually, it's all going to go well. I like to think so, anyway. Anyway, we'll, we'll leave it for now. The game's not running. We're just going to have it go into super speed mode. Maybe if I go into, you know, even if it's paused and I'm moving around a lot, it's still jolting. Do apologize about that. That's not any sort of uh, video processing or any YouTube artifact errors or performance issues. It's the actual game for some reason having problems that were unnoticeable, maybe. Maybe I didn't recognize the issues until now. I don't know. I'm not exactly the most observant person in the world. It is very likely that that is the case. Also, I have three crates in here filled with these particular items, which I probably should have one more. I mean, not just one more, like 3,000 more. Anyway, let's get a few more in there. Let's get two more in, then we can destroy these crates. We won't need them anymore. 
And I'm not too sure if we're still mining. It looks like the mine has started and then sort of stopped for a little while. Probably get some sort of lunch break done. Can't really tell. It just seems like for some reason this bit's not poked out as much. Don't know why. But these bits have. Oh, it's probably because I haven't finished those corners. So it hasn't gone down a level. That's probably why. The water looks really sewage-like at night. Makes me kind of nervous. Oh, my connection's back now. And for some reason, the timer has remembered? Wait, I'm really confused. It paused when I disconnected. And then when I reconnected, it seems to have actually been counting down. Like, it jumped, if that makes sense. That's really confusing to me. I mean, I guess it just remembered what time it was when it's dis disconnected and then calculated what time it was when I came back. I don't know. The calculations are insane. All right now, daily update. Unfortunately, not in the net worth scale just yet. We're still waiting for this house to be fully constructed. However, it is taking us some time. Mostly the insides are on a little bit of a downward slope right now. We have got a few fences, though, underway. And I guess we are putting those on the back. We just do this for the time. Because this looks really dodgy in this mode. It's much easier to see everything, though. Thankfully, no enemies have spawned just yet. I'm really hoping our blacksmith can get some of their work done before we have any more issues. Now, this house is under construction, however. I would like to get another one added. Kind of wondering where it should go. I feel like I want to fill up this space, but this might end up being a market square. So I might want to leave that for now. However, this could definitely move up. It's probably going to go towards this fence that I'm looking at. So let's go to our build mode. Let's get some more building done. So we got our road, and it looks like it does end up... Oh, inventors are approaching, apparently. Some nobbles, as well as some orcs. Okay, good. Thankfully, we are already engaged. So we will move you lot over there and move our archers over here, wherever they may be. Merv right now is currently feasting upon some wood or something. It's a very annoying sound. Also, we should be running off here because our kobolds are probably... Yep. Yeah, the kobolds are unfortunately trying to kill the townsfolk. Thankfully not doing an insane amount of damage just yet. Our archers are going to go and intervene. And hopefully the damage of our archers will out-damage the DPS of these, these nobolds. We're going to move you back, Gabby. Because you are taking... No, no, back. No, back. There we are. You did it, buddy. There we go. Um, as for our healers, unfortunately, they are not really doing their job. Well, they kind of are, but not. We should probably move the archers back a little bit. Although we have just defeated that nobble now, which is great. Although the, the healers should really move over here because otherwise we're not going to have a very good time against the foes that be. I mean, you could just shoot them. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Just as long as we can kill this cobble, that is okay. The healers should be able to heal up our knights now. Unfortunately, you're getting a little bit low on the old health, so we're going to move you over here. Meanwhile, over here, we seem to be doing fairly well. You're just moving around. Hopefully not going to take any extra damage from these bastard orcs. That would be ideal. Every now and again, you two take a little bit of a blast of damage, which is quite, quite insane. I don't really understand where the damage comes from, but I'm assuming they've got some sort of footman power strike, which is a part of the arsenal. There we are. We were thankfully... We had a few problems at the start, but we, we were able to succeed. Oh, we done. No, we haven't. Some of the scaffoldings just disappeared, though, which is a good, I suppose. It's a good. We are nearly done, actually. We just need to make a few more of, them, of these tall window frames, apparently. Where, are, where do they go? I can't see where we would put them, since it looks like they're all filled in. Oh no, they're not filled in. Okay, they're just shadows. Shadows of their former selves. Good. We get attacked from here a lot, don't we? We probably should try and wall this off. Well, we will eventually. We're going to build the moat and then the wall behind it. Hello, Merv. How you doing, buddy? Just chilling out right now, apparently. Just wants to be a part of things for this particular moment in time. I'm okay with that. Everyone's going to just sort of question... The beef, apparently. What's the beef? I don't know. But they're questioning it, and I'm just going to let them do that. We should probably harvest a little bit more of this as well, because we need to make 
we do need to make some more of the the thread right here so that we can make some more leather and maybe some quivers in the future as well if we are able to do so. We do have a shepherd now, don't we? Can't remember if we changed someone to be a shepherd. Also, something to remember is I also forgot to get the names list up. So I will have to get that up soon. The reason, I mean, I would go and get up now, but in the past, it has usually crashed the game and it's, it's been quite horrible. So I'm trying to find, uh, where the hell's our hunter? All right, there's Alan, the master trapper. Okay, good. So you were going to be our new shepherd, weren't you? Did you have the stats required that would make you a good shepherd? You got four in everything, so that's a good all-round stat. Slightly above. Gabby right there is merry, apparently. Everyone else is mostly good, actually. Very content. Other than we got Forza and Big Hunter, BG Hunter. Both of them glum. Don't know why. Maybe it's because they're both miners. They probably don't like the idea of being miners. My meal was cooked... Feared for life. Oh no, they both feared for their life and had pain. They've been scratched. You've been scratched. There could have been a lot worse things that could have happened to you than just a oh, little old scratch. Oh, that's such a shame. All right, let's start the game. Let's speed it up. All right, anyway, we were distracted from that last engagement. Let's see if we can get this sorted out. So we got the path right here. Unfortunately, it just sort of Ends right around there. I think we're just going to have a path going towards this as well. We can put something in this corner. We could probably fit two small houses in this area. But this is the market. Wait, I keep forgetting this is the market square. Possibly. Up here. I like the idea of fitting a house along this side just to fill up some space. If we go to this little build screen right here. We could even put the, the makeshift carpenter's house in there. It's quite a nice looking structure. But then again, I think I'd rather get my custom buildings thrown into here. Yeah, the Buried Field House 1. It's pretty big, though. That's the main issue. But fitting that in just about here would be quite nice. So that just sort of connects up to the back of it. And they could both say hello to each other from there. I think that's quite a nice place for this house. Although I think the roof could be lowered, but I think that might cause some issues. I can't tell. If I were to lower the roof here. Yeah, I knew it was going to cause a few problems. Might just have it peak up then. So it's slightly higher than this building, which is a bit of a shame. Unless I can lower the actual building. My first floor? I don't think I can. No, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I think that's okay. We can keep that. It's a really big house, though. I think is the main issue. Just click out of there for now. See so if we were to just get a bit close to it. Uh, then again, we were meant to... Yeah, we've got all these little walkways, all these different colors for these areas. Hold on, let's do that instead. There we go. And then this walkway could probably even stretch out five across from here. Five across is sort of the the main length right there of our, our big road. So if we have that stretch to... I like the idea of it doing this actually because then I can fence this area off and it might look quite nice. Yeah, I quite like the idea of that. If I go over to my, let's see, decorations. We got fences in here. I don't think we do. No, we have to use this instead. I could use the cobblestone fence. I think I might end up using the cobblestone fence. That might be quite nice. So if I have a gate here with the cobblestone. Ah, parrot. Although the main issue we'll have with the gate is that I think it will be a bit obstructive. Yeah, that will do. And then from here, we can connect up like this. Just want to add some random decoration here and there. Just to make the town a little less mundane, I suppose. 
There we are. I think that's quite nice. I think that adds a lot. And with that, we could even add a brazier at the corner here if we wanted, but that's not really the kind of light that we want, I think. And the braziers are quite nice because they do light up at night, so that's that's what makes them quite good. And they do seem like quite a sort of posh lamp post. So they are quite dwarven, which is the downside. We could just have normal lamp posts, I don't know. Either way, we should definitely get this bit constructed. Oh, bollocks, I know. Hold on a minute, let me get that changed. That's why I don't like... That's why I click away. Because otherwise it changes everything to that color. So this being... Oh, well, that can connect up like this. So that's fine. Well... Nah, that's not fine. It needs to connect up like that. It just looks a bit neater to me. Yeah, for some reason that looks better. As for this shit area, I don't know what to do with that just yet, but this bit is fine. Probably throw some flowers in there now that I think about it. Yeah, that might look quite nice. We don't have that many flowers to throw around though. But then again, we have plenty of the silkweed we can flow around for- flow around apparently. Throw around for some neat decoration. As for the house... I think that's worth constructing, but we have a few things we still need to make, including the tall window frames. Now, our carpenter is a little bit slow, and we're also still working on the other house. So for now, I will get the floor done. I think that will be fine. And that should be able to be constructed fairly quickly, not to mention we can get all of these placed. And I don't think that will cause too many problems. Okay, parrot. A trader approaches your town. Very filled. Three comfy beds. Two decorative vases. And hell no. I'd rather comfortable beds right now. Might want to do a bit of harvesting on these berries as well. How are we doing on the, the cook side of things? They probably should be able to make some better stuff. Yeah, they can. Including a donation to the Church of Plenty, apparently. Cool, I like that. Unfortunately, we don't have any animals just yet. So we can't really make all this extra stuff. Where would we put them? Probably here? I mean, this is a lot of farmland, and eventually I might just turn it into one big plot, and then the farm animals can go on this side. I think I prefer the idea of that, because I don't want the town to be huge. I just want it to sort of be around about that big. Yeah, that's quite satisfying as a size. Doesn't mean we have to go crazy with it. Oh, I quite like the look of this brazier right here, though. I think the only problem with the brazier is it doesn't actually emit much light. Like, these actually emit light. This, though... Not much at all, does it, Merv? Just, like, poked me then, I think. Ooh, a bit of a problem right there. It's not what I was hoping for. We're gonna have to move this. Now, I was really hoping they wouldn't have any conflictions there, but unfortunately there are. So, we are probably gonna have to... I mean, I always thought if you were quick enough, you they could just overlap each other, but apparently not. It used to be the case, anyway. Daily update. We have exceeded the net worth. Great. Hmm, yeah. This makes it a bit awkward. We're going to have to move this and think of something else. I could even fit the brazier there, I suppose. That might fill in that little gap. No, unfortunately, it won't. Hmm, this makes it incredibly awkward. We can... Change the position. Yeah, okay. We can change when it goes into the wall. So if we move all of these up. Oh, there we go. We fit all of these along like this. Yeah, we'll have it go along by one more. That'll be fine. I think that will work. I mean, even if it doesn't, it's still going to look better having the gate align, which we can now put in. Which is right here. Don't want that or a wooden gate. I kind of like the idea of having a fine wooden gate instead. I feel like that's going to add a little bit extra to the decoration. Yeah, I really like that. Right, there are enemies, apparently. Yep, right over there. They're oh, fucking hell. Okay. Poor boy. Right, this is the kind of group I don't like to deal with. I swore it there as well. I didn't like that. It proves just how scared I am. 
Okay then, well... We will try and deal with the clerics first. I do quite like the idea of doing as much damage to these little buggers before they can be healed up. Which we might even kill them before they can do anything, which is quite interesting. Our archers do so much damage, it's insane. Wait, kill him quickly! Oh, so close! Ah, oh, they're really close to death. Nice, we got him. Wow, that's really good for us. Okay, and unfortunately they have their footmen left, which is a little bit awkward for us. Uh, we will kill their clerics, though, very quickly at least. Yeah, they are absolutely being harassed right now. They're even healing themselves a little bit. Thankfully, our healers seem to be out healing their DPS, which is great. We haven't even got any armor yet. In fact, we double-checked that before. Let's just have another quick look. They don't have any other equipment other than their knight shield. So they're going to gain a huge armor bonus soon once they get their armor, which is really good to see. And the archers. I need another archer, I think. So much damage. Especially once they all get level 6. You got level 5, level 5. Yeah, none of them are level 6 yet. And that's when they get the ridiculous ability, which is the double shot. Huge amounts of damage. And then they can get the other quiver upgrades as well. I don't think you need to be that scared anymore. I'm pretty sure... I don't know how low on health that person was. You should do damage to the non-tank. There we go. That'd be great. Because they're, they're the ones pretty much pulling out all the DPS meter. Well, pulling out on the DPS meter right now. So we should probably deal with them. There we go. Three, three shots at a time. Super pros. Alright, there we go. That's good. Now, before I forget, just after this fight, I just need to go and grab the names list. And I'll probably have to stop recording before I do that, because in the past... I mean, in other games, I can record and also quickly tab out and do stuff. In the past, this game has crashed while doing that, and I've lost all my recordings. Or well, lost all my recordings, so I don't really want to do that. I think I just saw a double shot from you. Yeah. I really want to see that in action. I mean, it's pretty much double damage. Yeah, I just saw two shots from you there. That's insane. All of you having double shot would be amazing. We have dispatched all of the orcs. Six bird baths for one giant bone axe. Hmm. Well. Yeah, okay then. I like that. I can't make a giant bone axe, I don't think. So having six bird baths... I think would be a pretty good idea. Let's quickly get that sorted out. Uh, if I can. Game. <laughs> Please. Wait, what am I trying to do? Right, here is slice. Bird baths. Let's see. Yeah, let's get six of those done. That should be easy. 